you know, he had two interceptions in this game. Um, but one of them being a pick six at the most crucial part of the game. Um, for the one touchdown that Chase Claypool did catch, uh, and he put a little bit more effort into blocking, there's still a lot of confusion on his end. You can still see him looking at the sideline, kind of going, shrugging his shoulders here and there, not knowing what it, what's what. I believe I saw a quote from him saying that there were plays where he thought were run plays that wound up actually being screen passes. Um, that's what happens when you miss a lot of the offseason. You're, you're still behind. Fields looks lost out there. He does. And listen, there's when you dive into the play calling itself and when you dive into the routes being ran and now – you know, we we're not we're not in the room, so we don't know what the play that's being called actually is, and we don't know if somebody out there is just messing it up, messing up a route, and not knowing what to do. And that could very well be the case. It could definitely fall on the player. For guys like me and you, just sitting at home on our couches, even just looking at A twenty two tape and things like that, we go, "What the hell is this?" Like even when you draw it up on a whiteboard, it just doesn't make sense. It's almost idiotic to think that they would sit there and teach this. I truly believe it's got to be on the field execution that's messing this up because there's no way that they're running two of the same routes next to each other. There's no way that these two offensive players wind up in a you know three to five yard radius of each other when the ball needs to be thrown. I mean, it, there's just sloppiness everywhere. And I mean, I guess at the end of the day, that does fall on coaching. You don't have these guys ready to go or you're putting guys in there who are not ready to go. Fields, you know, what concerns me is there are open reads, early open reads. They're not being hit. You got DJ Moore out there clapping at you. Give me the ball. You know, th there's plays where, like, uh, there was one play where Claypool was wide open just staring at Justin Fields. By the time Fields got the ball out, he threw it so high that Claypool barely got a fingertip on it, and the ball, you know, popped up, and I think it fell out of bounds. But it could have potentially even been intercepted there. And it, it's just sloppy execution on your layups. Like, if, if you're ever going to win with Justin Fields, it, he needs to be able to do the – the easy things at least now i think where the fault comes in is they're not i think they're throwing this all at him at once they haven't really progressed him and made him feel comfortable in, in, a, in a, a progressive offense keeping the things that he does well in there as well as adding on and i and i believe you said that you know when we did a podcast with swifty hey you need to build off of what you did last year you need to just add dj more into it you know you don't you don't need to revamp this whole thing and try something new again like just because you got a sh bunch of shiny new toys as you've been saying the problem here is when things go wrong this much i don't think you can lay it all on any individual player it's it's a team sport it's a full 11 man sport you can't put it all on one guy and the quarterback is included in that so even if the quarterback can't read the defense or the or the routes or whatever's going on you can't ask him to do things that he's not capable of and i just don't think that justin fields is capable of this and it, it, it sucks we all love justin fields we love him we wanted him to become like the next 10-year guy um but the quick realization is just like he just can't process defenses like this and um can't process process like reads like this and it, it's just it's really all bad but when you have something in this situation to me, the fundamental question comes down to what are you trying to execute? And if you're trying to win games, you can do better than this. You can run the ball more. You can run play action more. You can uh, run simpler plays that aren't just screen passes. You can do things that will put your quarterback in a position to win. If you're trying to execute your system, come hell or high water, you're doing a great job. I think if you're trying to... I think you mentioned, you know, they ran Roshan Johnson and got 30 yards off it. Then never did it again. Never did why it. Are you, why are you doing things that don't work and not doing the things that work? Yeah. I mean, so um, you, you would hope that professionals at, at their job are self-aware enough to understand things that they're good at, things that they're not good at. Fields is clearly just mentally broken. And... It's a long season. Could he snap out of it? Sure. We've seen crazier things happen in the NFL where guys just have one or two games of crazy success and then just have confidence and moving forward. They're just a totally different guy. 
can it happen? Yes. Are my are my uh, hopes up high for that? No, no, they're not. 